What up my dream bunnies? My name is Thomas. I make videos on Clojure, Clojure Script, and web development in general. And I know it's been a minute since we've last seen each other, but it's because I am working super hard on setting up a bunch of other projects. But in order to do that and make videos on those, I actually need to, well, build the other project. So that's a real thing. But in this video, what I want to do is just show you quickly how I set up a new Clojure Script project from scratch in just a few seconds. As always, like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell to be notified when I come out with new content. And as always, there's going to be links in the description below and timestamps so you can just jump to the sections that are most important to you. If you have seen my other video getting started with Clojure Script from scratch, you will have noticed that there is a lengthy process of creating a new Clojure Script project. There is boilerplate configuration, all kinds of things that need to be done. This isn't just a closure script thing though, this is a code thing in general. No matter what language you're working in, no matter what framework, even if they provide you helpers, there is still a setup process. So what I usually do when I'm working with a language heavily is I will create a little tool that will automate the entire process. And that's exactly what I've done here. I've created a tool called Create Reagent, and I'm gonna show you how we actually use that to create a new closure script project. So on my left is my terminal. On the right here is Create Reagent App, GitHub repo, so you can see and check that out. There will be a link in the description below, as well as to everything else that I'm talking about in this video. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna demo the command that I would actually run to create a new ClojureScript project from scratch, super fast style. And then I will actually kind of track back and show you how everything works and where it all comes from. If I was to create a new project, I would type in CLJ and then you do dash X colon. And in this case, it's going to be create region app, which is an alias that I have set up and I'll show you later. And we type in create. And then we are going to say, because we need to name our project, I'm going to say org name slash project name. This here, this structure is the way that you will always structure the name. It's going to be usually the organization name and then the project name. So we press enter on that. And wherever you run this command, that's where your new project is going to be created. So I've run my command in the desktop directory. And this usually takes a few seconds to run. If everything went successfully, you should see generating a reagent app and then project name. So we should do CD project name. And if we LS on that, we see that we have a bunch of directory created. So I'm actually just gonna open this up in my editor to make it a little bit easier to see. So here we have project name that we just created. And as you can see, if you compare this to what we did in getting started with Clojure Script from scratch, you'll see that it's the exact same at this point. We have all the same aliases that we set up before. You have your project here, which actually includes a fully configured version of reagent and a little uh, project, which I'll show you in a second. And then it comes with an index.html file and a style.css file. So then to run it, as always, because this is what I always do for my projects, is clj-mdev. All right, beautiful. So as we see, it opens up a browser for us. It starts our application, and then we can see that we just pre-configure it with whatever we named our project. And that's pretty much everything that is involved. With this, you can now start debbing a Clojure Script application, and you didn't have to do any time with setup. So this includes HMR, live CSS refresh, HTML, CSS files, like everything is pre-configured and ready to go. It is super minimal, and I do that on purpose because for me personally, I don't like to have a lot of opinion in my templates because I don't always know the direction that I want to go. And I don't always know like how I'm going to use it in the future. So the only time that I'll actually add a new feature is when I can actually kind of confirm with myself that this is something I'll use at least 90% of the time. So let's review Create Reagent app a little bit and see how we can start running it on your local machine. So when I started, I, you saw that I did this command here. This command is global alias and I show you how to set this up inside of the documentation for the repo, but you don't actually have to use this command if you don't want to. For example, if you just want to experiment with the library, you would first go through the housekeeping items and mainly this is installing Java and installing Clojure. And if you click these links, uh, you will be directed to the videos that I have explaining how to do these things. There'll also be a link above and in the description below. And all you're going to do from there is you could just copy this command right here after you've moved into the directory that you want to move into. And I'm going to clear out of this. I'm going to go up to desktop again. 
and you'll see this command right here. Now, you can just do this command straight up as is, and it'll just create a little fake app like called Nike slash fitness app. And I just do that because I think it's a little bit clearer to understand that Nike is the organization. Fitness app is the thing that you're building. And if you press enter on that, it should do the exact same thing that our alias did. And we can see if that worked by going into, uh, not Nike, we'll go into fitness app. And everything worked. So that is the simple way, but you don't want to have to run that command every single time. So what I usually do is add a global alias. As always, the global will live in home directory, and then you can go dot closure. So you can type Adam closure, whatever editor you're using to open up this file. So when it opens up, you can see that this is my global closure file. So I've got a lot of stuff in here that's not necessarily pertinent to what we're talking about. But what we do care about is this right here. And I will have a link in the description below to where you can see my global dot file. So what you're going to notice is that this alias here is going to be doing everything that this command over here did, except it just makes it a lot cleaner when we're typing it into our terminal, because I think we can all agree that it is much nicer to have to type this than to have to type this monstrosity. I'm not going to go over how to do everything step by step as far as installing things, because I actually have an entire video showing how to set up aliases and how to work with this devs.eden file. It'll be linked above. Uh, but you can also go to the Create Reagent App repo, and there is a section called Pro Tips, and it shows you how I set up everything step by step. This is great for people who prefer to read technical instructions rather than watch a video on it. All right, thank you for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. I hope you see a little bit more about how I actually do things when I'm working with ClojureScript. And as always, like I said in the beginning, if you haven't already, like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, and I'm going to see you all later.